Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we finally have some news. Rich Aldridge, the dude in charge of the DLC for Total War Warhammer, has released a rather lengthy statement. We're going to talk about it right now. We're going to let him talk and then stop where appropriate so we can just see anything of importance. I've not seen this before. They didn't give this to the content partners such as myself. So yeah. And if I sound a little out of breath, it's because I've just come back from a five mile run. I've started training again for boxing. So anyways, let's just get started, shall we? Hi everybody, I'm Richard Aldridge, I'm the Game Director on Total War Warhammer. It's been a little while since we uh, last gave, gave you any news and got to speak to you and I appreciate how frustrating that must be. Um, I'm striving with the team to, to rectify that uh, for you all this, this year and, and beyond. One thing that I wanted to start um, with talking about today is why we are where we are and that's very much uh, based on the fact that we had to change our schedule of work uh, post War Warhammer 3 and its release. We knew that we needed to get a Mortal Empire stew in the best possible state, and that's where we focused all of our efforts last year, making sure that we've got a great foundation going forward through Immortal Empires, but also in patching Warhammer 3 itself and getting it to the state that we need it to be to add new content and experiences uh, later this year and beyond. I've got one simple question here. So no new DLC because they're fixing up the game and all that type of stuff, but they did release DLC. They released Champions of Chaos. Does that not count? I'm trying to um, understand the reasoning. To be fair, yes, that dropped alongside Immortal Empires, but it kind of discredits what he says already, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's move on. I really, really appreciate you bearing with us on this, and I hope you did get to enjoy the content that we made last year in Champions of Chaos um, and Immortal Empires itself. So looking forward, we've got, I think, a really exciting year ahead, ahead of us. There's going to be new content, bug fixing, quality of life improvements, taking on board everything that you're um, reaching out and, and telling us. And I dare say some of this is going to hopefully be on your wanted list. Um, but I think there's also going to be a few nice surprises there too. So speaking of the first uh, piece of new content, I'm really pleased to say that we're finishing up with our final touches on this right now, and we'll be able to share that with you come April. When you get your hands on it, um, I think it will be really evident and come through what a passion project this has been for us, and why we're actually spending the extra amount of time um, just now to get it just right for you. Um, it's going to be one heck of an experience, and that's what we're all about. Alright, so this is some big news. The DLC, presumably Chaos Dwarfs, considering all the hints and, well, all the leaks that have happened, um, well, that's coming in April, it seems. Or they're going to show it to us in April. This is actually quite big, as that's the beginning of Q2. A lot of people were worried that it was going to be May-June. That was also me. So, yeah, no, this is great. This is absolutely amazing. And it seems that there's a little bit more news that he's got here, so let's talk about it. Um, we aim to deliver... Um, two more exciting experiences also later this year so one in the summer and one in the winter uh, and we're also going to accompany this with patches th throughout so keeping the game fresh keeping it updated and this is our aim um, so it's not a concrete plan um, things can change and this is what I'm going to go into in a little more detail with you now even bigger news is that they have plans for two more DLCs for this year. So in um, summer and then obviously winter. This is great. Okay. They do say that that's what's planned. It's not concrete. But that's three DLCs for Warhammer this year. Uh, keep in mind that Richard only works on Warhammer as far as I'm aware. So he's not working on any other projects at least... I don't think he's been leading any other DLCs for like Troy and Free Kingdoms back when they were active games. I think they're their own teams. So yeah, this is great. This means that we can get a bunch of DLC. Free DLCs in a year is going to be very good for us. If that becomes the standard norm, that's going to be amazing. I imagine that it's going to be uh, one of these things that they have to wait and see and just see how time progresses and how content is received. But yeah, I I'm actually kind of happy about this. So a lot of steps are needed in creating a DLC, and I'm sure you're aware of that, you know, starting with the creative spark, um, development, but much goes on behind the scenes. Um, everything that, you know, we need to get looking and feeling just right um, before we can showcase and release it to you all. This naturally comes with its own complications and challenges, and, you know, our original plans, as I've outlined earlier, you know, 
they, they had to change with the post launch support of Warhammer 3 and the Mortal Empires. But, but ultimately, this brings us some amazing content, and we hope and that you'll think the same uh, when we get it into, into your hands. So in addition, um, we want to be as concrete as possible, um, but in doing so, you know, we, 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 we need to be in that position before we can communicate it to you. We don't, you know, we don't want to disappoint, we want to excite. We're, we're passionate about what we make, we want to make great content for you to enjoy for years to come. Um, and we're moving as quickly as we can on this, so please do bear with us, um, even if it doesn't always look uh, that way at times. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and as I outlined in the plan above, uh, this is what it looks like today. This is our commitment um, to you to tell you what, what, what we have now and if the plan needs to change. I hope this gives you a good insight, a good picture of what um, you know, we've got planned, why we're excited and uh, why we're committed to this much loved project and game. This does seem fairly sincere, and so far I've heard nothing but good. Yes, the plans do change, um, this is something that we are all aware of, but Warhammer is their cash cow, and this is why I said a few days ago, I doubt that Creative Assembly will end up killing this. I know some people were thinking that this is going to get free kingdom, then I told you, it's not going to happen. Way too much money happens here. Too many other factors are involved regarding Total War, Warhammer specifically, with other companies too. So yeah, we can all relax. Guys, seriously, all we have to do is just wait, wait and see what this next DLC is, and then hope for the next one. If it's going to be as quickly as they said and it's going to be free a year, this is going to be absolutely fantastic because they do mention for years to come. So yeah, this is going to be good. So before I sign off, um, a little personal note. I've seen lots of positivity uh, in the community, in the modding scene. I love that all. You know, um, for me, uh, Warhammer is an amazing, amazing IP. I, I love to get involved in it, painting, playing, making this one, one wonderful game for, for you all. So keep showing us, you know, your plushies, your, your crazy pixel art, legendary lords, and all that good stuff. But also be aware that there's some negativity uh, about, and a lot, and some of this is aimed at our community managers. They're a crucial part of our team. They really are. And they work really hard to represent you and what you're saying on a daily basis. And I really ask you all to remember, you know, to treat them with the respect that, that you would want yourselves and the wider community. Together, working to, working on this, we, we can make the best possible experience for Total War for us to all enjoy. So thanks for listening to me um, today. I hope it's been insightful. I hope it's given you a better picture of what we aim to do in the future. I hope you can stick with us and then join us next week for our first anniversary of Warhammer 3. Till then, bye-bye. Yeah, so don't be rude to the staff, especially the people who are just doing their jobs. This is something that I've said fairly recently too, because yes, I understand some people are not saying what exactly you'd like to hear, but remember, they're just doing their job. They're being told by the higher-ups. I've spoken to some of the community members. They're really good people. They're just doing their job. They love the game. They love the series. And uh, it's not really fair on them. Anyways, isn't it kind of odd that, again, the mention of uh, the anniversary next week, is it? Or the week after? 17th. Uh, mostly because the last statement they did was kind of the same. Maybe they've got something planned for that? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can legitimately tell you I have no idea. They haven't told us anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of happy about the, the details given in this video. Rich has been very honest and properly speaking to us, which I think is very important. Uh, three DLCs a year. That's going to be amazing. Well, let's hope that it actually stays to this. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's start a bit of a discussion. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day, guys.